Have you heard the news? There's something brand new with Zoom and it is so exciting. I'm going to show you. Thanks for joining me. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services and we're going to take a look at Zoom's most recent update. Let me just share my screen here so you can see what I'm seeing. And I have my floating navigation bar also that you may have saw, um, saw when I shared my, my view. And being able to see those things and being able to even share and show you my desktop, that's part of the settings, just as an additional um, uh, add-on uh, tidbit and quick tip. So if you've updated your latest Zoom uh, update for your account, and if you don't know how to do that, I'll link the video on a tutorial for how to what's a quick easy way to find out if you're up to date and how to update it so i have done that and so you're seeing as an account owner a host plus i have ticked off in my settings all of these things that you're seeing here so if you don't see something it might be that in your settings you haven't turned it on and then it's always good to look at more but what's brand new is here in view maybe it only works part of jumping in when i haven't played with it fully is figuring it out and you're and you're seeing this real time okay so what i decided to do was screen record instead of record through zoom um, and that way I'm not having to share screen because I don't think I can show you that option while I'm sharing uh, my screen. So now let's take a look, see if I'm right. We go up to view. Yes. Oh, this is exciting. It's the first time I'm clicking it live with you recording it. So, and let me make sure I am recording because that's the worst when uh, I record something amazing and then I realize I didn't click record. All right, so let's see what this looks like. First time together, immersive, I do legitimately get this excited about stuff like this. Um, immersive uh, scene, I can pick that, and then this comes up, and then, ooh, this is so good. So automatically, participants, place participants into scene automatically or manually. I can move people around. And let's, we've got the art gallery, we've got the auditorium, boardroom, that's cool. Fire chat, cafe, only two people. So interviews going forward, let's pick that and take a look. Loading immersive scene. Oh, cause there's two of us. I'm gonna click start. Oh, and I could even upload um, an option too. This is awesome. Future, not interviewing myself, but that would be different. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I am not making this up. I am this excited about this. So you're getting it live. Okay, so now I can change immersive view. Oh, this is awesome. So I, a plus sign here, I can add a customize. Won't do that right now. Um, classroom, kitchen, learning pods. Oh man. Okay, so I'm kind of small and oh, I can actually, okay. So I can't fully make it bigger. Oh, I can. I don't know why it's only, I've got to move over. So we got to pay attention to that. And then my second self. So I guess if somebody is not on camera, you can still move them around. Let's just see here. Okay, that works. All right. How fun to be playing with this. Okay, let's change immersive scene. Okay, let's try boardroom. All right, that's so great. And then I can 
minutes so I can, you know, it takes a, probably a few minutes. I'm not sure. I'll have to test, actually, let me test it out as my second self. Ooh. So this is from my phone. And can I move myself? Let's just see here. I don't think I can move myself. But I don't know if I can make it bigger. It's a different scene altogether. Maybe everybody shows up like a circle when you're not the host, and it's just the um, that is so neat. Okay, let's see what it looks like if I change it while I'm here together. Let's try the whole interviewing myself. You can have fun with that. You just have to position it. So I'd actually, yeah, doesn't work. Um, so maybe, maybe everybody shows up as a, a bubble and it's only the host that's a full body. I'll have to test that out with someone else. And then let's see, am I going to, let's, what does it look like manually? And then if I change it, fireside chat, loading, and then start. Hmm. It looks fine when it's like this, but it's different. Maybe it's because I'm on my phone, so I'll have to test that another way. And then let's just test it out. Let's try oh, manually. Oh, that's fun. So can I, it took a minute for it to upload on my second self. So I could move people around. Well, oh, that's a fun thing. If you had a panel, um, it keeps going back to automatic and then plus sign and just, okay. So it's kind of like a mutual virtual background. I just picked start. Okay. And now I've, oh, bounced back to circle wonder if I can make it. So if I have more people, I can change that, have myself bigger or smaller, depending on the scene. I can move around. This is awesome. Maybe Maybe I'm going to have to post this video sooner than later. Then uh, wait for the, the videos that are all pre ready to go. Hope you've enjoyed this. I'm going to stop my second self here. Um, that's so, I, it is a different view altogether and it's definitely very fun. And let me just change it one more time. And oh, what's this? My video. Could I? So I could actually pe bring people into my own view. See, this is what you get when you're when you play and discover. Now, if I X out, that's just stopping it completely. So I'm going to do it one more time. Put in a cafe. And I'll make that smaller. So if you don't have one other person, it doesn't come up. Or if you're sharing screen, it doesn't work. And I don't think, uh, from what I hear, that it uh, goes into a um, into the breakouts. One additional little clip. And going into a breakout room, the view does not follow you. And when people come back, 
they pop back up at the top. They don't automatically go back into the seats that you moved them in in the first place. It is only good up to a certain number of participants. A very large group, this wouldn't work. I think 25 is the maximum. And um, I'll verify additional details in the blog below, but this is, you know, genuinely some first looks, some testing of this. So coming back from breakout room, you'd have to remove people into the spot. So it has its time and place for a certain number of people to change up the view. What I am going to test out too is in this recording, will the view be part of it? Um, so I'll let you know in just a moment. Okay, just confirmed recording in Zoom does not capture the new immersive background view. Uh, but, you know, when you play with it and have fun and see what the capacity is, uh, you, can, you can really change your view and change your point of view um, and, uh, and experience maybe for your participants. Thanks for checking this out. I hope that this was enjoyable to you. My name is Patricia, and until next time, I hope you have some light bulb learning moments like I just did, and that you're able to facilitate engaging experiences with your audience to turn them into participants. Until next time.